Hey folks, how are you doing today? So I have found this excellent uh, software, Motion Cam Pro, which is actually a paid application. If I go to its real version, Motion Cam Pro raw video, you have to pay 2,600 rupees or probably it's around 25 USD or something. I'm not sure. 20 or 20, I think 25 USD, but it does have a demo version, which I'm trying to install. This is a great app for Xiaomi 15 Ultra, because I have always said that in Xiaomi 15 Ultra, you have the best set of hardware you could ever find in any commercial, or uh, sorry, any consumer uh, mobile phones ever. This could be a debatable topic, but yeah, that's what I personally feel. I have never seen any mobile phone with such kind of camera hardware, particularly 1X to 1X, 3X and uh, 4.3X. Particularly 1X and 4.3X cameras are excellent. I have personally used it. I am using it since past um, uh, more than a week's time. I, I think around 10 days already or probably it could be two weeks or so. But anyway, that's the fact that if I get hold of some good camera software, I can actually unlock it. So let's see what do we have in the demo version of it. It's installing. It offers ProRes, like uh, for Apple, uh, um, on all the Apple uh, mobile phones, iPhones particularly, obviously. Um, that's something uh, which I always miss on any of the Xiaomi or uh, any Android uh, hardware. I have Xiaomi 13 Pro as well with excellent camera hardware, which even 13, uh, sorry, 16 Pro Max cannot beat, particularly the one inch, uh, um, uh, you know, Sony uh, sensor for the one X uh, capture. But what I miss is obviously ProRes and now this particular uh, software can even record at raw. Raw is much better than uh, ProRes. ProRes is also a compressed format, which is almost like raw, but raw is raw. Completely uncompressed video you can actually record. And with um, UFS, 4.1, I think uh, that's what you have on Xiaomi 15 Ultra. So with UFS uh, 4.1, you can actually utilize the speed of, um, yeah, it is actually working. Hmm. So I actually found this software by seeing this video. I would recommend you to see this um, to get a proper uh, understanding of uh, these things. Uh, let me tell you which video is it. Xiaomi 15 Ultra versus iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'll, I'll be sharing a link of uh, this particular video. This is from Epic Tutorials for Mobile something. Uh, I'm seeing their channel probably for the first time. But yeah, I think this software is a game change, changer. Um, so what do we have in this demo version? Let's see. I'm not able to go to settings. Am I? No. Uh, okay. Let's go to 24mm camera, OIS, enable torch. You find the settings, noise reduction, sharpness, tone mapping, stock uh, viewfinder, viewfinder resolution. Okay. I think it is also accessing. I think this is the first camera software I'm seeing, which actually can access other cameras as well. It looks like 72 mm, 99 mm. Yeah. It is actually accessing the 4.3x sensor as well. And probably front sensor, uh, front anyway. Um, this is me. You can't see my face because it's hidden. 
बट या सो दिस इज द अल्ट्रा वाइड दिस इज द आई थिंक या थ्री एक्स टेलीफोटो एंड ट्वेंटी फोर एम एम इज द वन इंच सेंसर सोनीज लेटेस्ट एंड ग्रेटेस्ट आई थिंक इट इज अराउंड फॉर द पास टू इयर्स Xiaomi फोर्टीन Ultra also had this sensor. LYT 900. That's what I remember. And okay, this is the, the ultra wide. I I think I was I I told uh, the ninety nine mm is uh, ultra wide. But yeah, this is ultra wide. Ultra wide has this problem of uh, having uh, less exposure because of uh, the aperture being too low. But anyway, yeah, from one x, three x, and four point three x, I really have no issues. Uh, they are excellent camera hardware, and even front sensor is fine. So I will be exploring. Uh, let me explore some more. Thirty frames per second, and supported frame rates. Why is fifty and forty-eight and twenty-five showing unsupported? Um, probably. No, I am at four point three x. Hmm. Okay. Now, one thing I am definitely quite excited. I I was always talking like yesterday only. I was talking with one of my friends, my childhood buddy, talking about this phone. i told him that only the software is lagging behind but if i can get some good uh, camera software which can actually access all the cameras this looks to be the only one i have found because all other camera softwares i know including i think black magic uh, camera i think black magic camera also uh, support uh, at least the one x sensor i i will have to check whether it uh, has um, access to the other uh, cameras as well otherwise this is the first software i know which can actually uh, you know basically you can actually replace the stock camera now because you have access to all the cameras and it it also supports photo capture including dng dng is raw um you know photos save burst as video okay this is another interesting thing noise reduction you can i will be playing with it i normally don't like noise reduction but if it uh, improves the image then i can probably use it otherwise i prefer capturing without noise reduction especially with these kind of high end camera hardware so what do we have general settings audio meter okay level meter uh, okay this is the basically horizontal horizontal level meter i can turn it on display grid yeah um i do golden ratio and lock exposure on record yeah i think i would prefer this thing lock exposure um on video recording lock focus on record um yeah that's so so these th these toggles are very good for professional level video recordings so when you are recording like when i am vlogging um while riding my bike or car i would prefer uh, locking the exposure and focus i tried to lock uh, using the standard uh, camera hardware but unfortunately um it was actually clipping in low light situations so i will try to do it with this software and see if it helps me uh, capture in low light as well you know by locking the exposure i want to lock the exposure um, i want to keep the image uh, slightly under exposed so that uh, the lights don't bloom you know in darkness so you get uh, maximum dynamic range that way and you don't have those uh, blooming artifacts especially while capturing hdr because hdr is all about high dynamic range so yeah raw histogram yeah i would like that lock white balance on record so these three settings exposure focus and white balance are very important uh, while recording so apple really shines um, uh, you know because of these three settings because when you are recording it keeps the 
um, these settings almost consistent. Uh, of course, uh, uh, focus and uh, uh, exposure, uh, it will keep changing, but uh, it will try to keep the white balance consistent so that uh, it looks like a professional camera. Because if the white balance is shifting uh, during video recording, you don't get that professional feeling. Anyway, I'll stop here. I'll be reviewing this software again. I've already talked more than 10 minutes. So yeah, I'll be posting uh, a follow-up video to this after having learned about this software. And maybe I'll pay for the paid version and then review the paid version as well. But looks like uh, this software is a game changer. And for the first time, I'm coming to know about it. About coming to know about uh, the only camera software which can access all the camera hardware, which is which itself is a game changer. Plus, it supports uh, supports Apple ProRes, Apple Log, and RAW Capture. So, could be a game changer. Keep posted. Keep keep watching, and I'll be posting more details, more info on this particular software. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on this. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.